Sorry, guys, I just had to listen to music for a minute. Hey, everybody, it's Devin13 here. Been on a real Double Dragon kick lately well, with the release of Double Dragon Gaiden, the Warriors, the Reveal, the, the, the Deep Hansing. I don't know. There, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of titles on that. Is it? Rise of the Dragons. That's what I was looking for. And uh, it just made me real nostalgic for the original game, and I've been playing a lot. Um, actually, one of the games I was never able to beat as a kid, but I find it a lot easier now. Um, it's a surprisingly simple game, but it has a lot of nice elements that you don't see in a lot of beat-em-ups, even today, for an old NES game. No two-player co-op, but you can do two-player, kind of like Mario, where you compete against each other to see who can get through the game first, I guess. Provided player one doesn't die. Dies at some point. Um, so, you know, basic beat-em-up. You got your, your 3D plane, you got your, your punches, your kicks. Your punches do uh, less damage, but you get more points for doing them. It's a harder. Also, if you never knock down your enemies, they don't die until they fall down. So, these first couple guys... Also, this first stage is super quick and easy. You can actually kind of level up on these guys. There's a leveling up mechanic in the first game that they kind of got rid of. Um, they have something similar in... Double Dragon Neon, which I'll probably also play at some point. It's the one that feels least like a Double Dragon, you know? Anyway, this is probably funny. So now that we have our second heart, we actually have a second ability. First, the heart lets us jump and kick and punch. Now when we... finish our kick combo, we'll uh, do a little roundhouse. You can pick up the whip, I'll do that later. And then we also have an uppercut when we punch. Good stuff. So the first guys were Williamses, those were Lindas, these are Ropers. The sprite work in this game is amazing for when it came out. Like, it's really good. He's usually carrying that barrel. The barrel will pretty much one-shot somebody, but you don't get any points for doing it. When we get to level 2, 3, we'll be able to actually kick when we jump, which is nice. You can do that, uh, dagger trick on anybody, but, uh, See, now we can jump kick. Jump kick doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's situationally useful. And those, we're doing pretty good on points, so I'm gonna switch to the whip. You get a nice 30 points for doing it. It's a one-hit knockdown. Good damage. Kinda slow, though. You could probably just punch him out in two cycles. Um, I want to have six hearts by a certain point in the third stage, but other than that, I'm not really fussed. There's a specific ability you get that's really handy on a mini-boss fight. The stages are all pretty short until you get to the uh, third stage, which is like three stages in one. There's a neat trick down here, where you just walk here. Walk up the ceiling. I think I might die if I walk too high on that. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll go in here. Conveyor belt! You can knock dudes on it. Off of it. But there's no points in that. He might... Ah, oh, damn, he almost threw himself off. He'll do that sometimes. You get your life filled up every time you go through a door, which is really nice. We got our first Bobo! Bobo will jack you up. He is the reason there's a conveyor belt. You're not really meant to fight him properly. If you just kind of let him walk into you, you can kick combo him. And uh, level 6 attack is really good on him. Got good mileage out of my turbo controller as a kid. My, my good old NES advantage. Mission 2. Good thing. There's a pit here. I'm gonna do some stage saves, that way if I need to. This might be segmented. Just kind of run past them and they'll throw that box. The best defensive thing you can do in the game is just move up and down. The AI, uh, AI doesn't really have a way to deal with it. Uh, this level's short enough. I'll go ahead and use more punches to get some more experience. Once we get to level 3, we'll mainly be kicking people. As we can do if it'll work on him. Now we can hair pull. Pretty cool. That's the level 4 ability. Watch out for guys that throw dynamite. You can pick it up pretty safely, and unlike whatever I was playing recently, it won't blow up in your hand. 
but you can't jump kick them like you can with normal weapons. Oh yeah, we have a new ability. Boy, we're racking up abilities. Now we can stand on people and punch them to death. You don't get any experience for that, so... Baseball bat. I'll use baseball bat. Sure. We need to use more weapons. Baseball bats, as many points as punching, but you'll get less hits with it. It goes fast, too. So, the Williamses will frequently go and try to pick the dynamite back up. They don't in this stage, though. There will be more dynamite later. Don't you worry. So, we're at the end of the level. Don't get experience for throwing them off the ledges too, but it's fun. Anyway, jump kick. So we had a Bobo, we had Linda, we got everyone that's pretty much in the new game. Uh, we got a new guy, boss, uh, Chin Tai Mei, I think. I always thought he had a weird little hat, but I guess he's just got floopy, floopy Asian guy hair. Very Bruce Lee, but too big. So he's he's a good candidate for throwing off the edge. You can also just leave. Like if you go down the ladders, he'll he'll despawn. And anyone that despawns counts as dead. You get to leave. Yeah. No, the game's nice and fast, and it's it's a good just kind of pick up and play. The last couple stages are crazy long. So here we want to save on some life, hopefully, so we'll start kicking dudes. Williamses are real susceptible to hair grab. They'll duck under your roundhouse, though. But if you can pick them up, you can just kind of throw them. And then they're dead. You have to be careful with that. Most enemies will leave you alone while you're uh, doing a hair grab, but knife throwers will still throw knives at you. Uh, and now, very useful attack. I don't know if it'll work on Chin. Chin now a regular bad guy. So we have the back elbow. Does a ton of damage. There's one more level to get. It gives us our most powerful ability. That we can't really control when it happens. It just, it replaces our roundhouse. A nice little hopping roundhouse. Music's really strange in this level, but it's really cool looking. I love all the backgrounds in this game. I played the crap out of this game as a kid. We can only ever get to, well, this stage. We can get to like the second and maybe third part of this stage. Usually this stage was where we start dying. Sit on here. Always jump earlier than you think you need to, because you will walk yourself into the water otherwise. Ah, nope, that was bad. We might be okay. I really hate to take a death here. Get in the water. You shit. Depends on how nice the ropers want to be. If you don't move very far at a time, you can kind of bring in the enemies on your terms. Sometimes ropers will get real jump kick happy. Game pretty much starts you where you die, though, if you die, which is pretty cool. So if we do die here, we'll pick up where we left off. And I'll just come back later with more lives. Progress! I should be able to get to the final boss. Even if I can't beat him with my current number of lives. Oof, that's bad. 
See, so this is what we wanted this elbow attack for. Because they'll... yeah. You want enough hit points available to be able to tank any of the... anything they have that gets through. You can jump kick them to death, but usually they'll duck. And it takes forever. But if you have a full life bar, you can just... You can't face tank them, because they'll destroy you. But the elbow does good work. About four elbows kills them. So the turbo controller helps. And then we can go in the cave, and the cave sucks! Because of this crap. This shit is hard to dodge, and it does so much damage. Like, four of these will kill you. And if you double tap in a direction, you do a dumb headbutt. And then there's platforming with this janky... I have to press A and B together to jump. It's not super ideal. There's only one fight in here. If you fall down, you have to fight some ropers with a rock. And jump over some lava, because of course there's lava. I would normally throw him, but I want them to stay on the same side of me. It is just these two, though. Ugh. That's it. Spamming kick as people walk into you is generally the way to go. Dynamite on the left, which he can have. And these guys will be real sassy with jump kicks and duck ducking under your roundhouse. Ah, nice. That was really good. And we have some jumping to do. Also, the best animation in the game is Billy. Billy Lee! Falling down a hole. You jump earlier than you think you need to! God, that felt bad. And then just keep going and hope you don't get hit by those. You can jump this one. And then we got green a bobo Let's see if I can do the trick with him. For whatever reason, I think because it's a 2D plane, I can't move up and down, you can just kind of push him towards the wall. Damn it. Got the headbutt. Nope. Other way. Headbutt sucks. It doesn't do any damage. Nope. As soon as his elbow touches the wall, you can do that to him. Green Abobo is super cool, though. I like it. But he also... About four elbows. He does a lot more damage than a regular Abobo, though. There we go. And we can go through this hole. And now we're pretty much there. There's some Lindas... ...that we're not worried about. And they're gonna come out of their little holes. We're going to yeet them off the edge of the stage. Because we don't need experience anymore. That's our new ability. Our jumping roundhouse. Our walker Texas Ranger kick. Throw the last one away. Can't believe Billy throwing a perfectly good bitch away like that. That's terrible, Billy. How could you? Mission 4 is the last mission. It's almost as long as Mission 3. And it has more platforming and, and this crap. Not too far. You only take about four of these, too. Damn it. That's bad. I don't want to take that kind of damage yet. There's no pattern. It just happens. I want that one right in front of me to go. Damn it. Probably gonna die. So, Chin Time Mei with a knife. Don't get hit by that. This is a great place to knock people off, but they will also try to knock you off. And you can walk off the bottom. Alright, we need more life anyway. walked off the edge again, Jesus. There's 
There's one more with a knife that'll show up. You do not want to be doing a hair grab when he does, because that'll happen. There are no continues, and there are only three lives in this bitch. So it is kind of rough. But, it's been, what, 15 minutes? Not that hard to get back here. I got knifed to death. Well, damn. So, yeah. That's Double Dragon. It's a mean bitch. Uh, I'll come back, and I'll be back at stage four again. Well, I can just hit my button. I'll just hit my button. I have a button. I made a button to start at stage four. I had a button earlier that had more lives when I started at stage four. I like that button better. That almost worked better. The bad thing about this is you'll get stuck here, and you'll just keep getting hit by the damn things. Anyway, let's try that again without falling off the edge. This is probably one of the harder fights in the game. We can survive this, we have one more fight, and then we'll get a screen change. Because this next thing doesn't count. I mean, there's another jump, but then... God, it's a Bobo! Oh. Hi, a Bobo. No one loves you. I love you, a Bobo. It'd be tempting to try and throw these guys off the edge, but generally not worth it. Roundhouse will kill them. So will a full uh, hair pull combo. You can survive sometimes on one, one bar. Kind of depends on how you got there. Each bar is worth like eight hit points, and each attack does a certain amount and all that happy crap. I think we got it. God, that was close. Oof! It's not this crap. More precision jumping. Uh, oh, we made it! I thought that was gonna kill us. God, that was great. You kind of want him to be alive. Because if he's alive, um, every door you pass, a Williams will spawn out of. But if he's alive, they don't spawn. Well, he might. Yeah, he'll spawn. But they shouldn't bother us. Shit. Damn. Let's do it again. One life left. I might be able to do it. Nope. We're dead again. Anyway, I'll get back there. Okay. We're back at this mess of crap, but I have an extra life now, because I went back to stage three. That's what I was trying to do earlier. So I don't get hit and almost fall down the hole. Reflexes get better as the more you play. Well, and just like any of the old Nintendo games, it's just, just all muscle. Just all muscle. I just hadn't beefed that jump. Oof, like that. A really bad way to lose a life. Uh, see what I mean? That jump before you think you're supposed to. Because the, uh... The, uh... It's not Castlevania. You can't do that shit where you stand on the last pixel. The last pixel ain't really there. But, you know, seeing as I used to never even be able to make it this far, I'll call this a win. I accidentally knocked that asshole off this ledge onto that moving platform once. That was kind of hilarious. The jump didn't work. Restart that second. Just restart that second. That's fine. That's fine. We're almost at the last stage anyway. But yeah, there aren't any... There, I think there were Game Genie codes for this, but there aren't like conventional cheats, like you know, extra lives or infinite continues or things like that. Uh, there are continues on Double Dragon 2. 
and there are ways to cheese extra lives. Uh, a lot of the game genie codes are like, take no damage, enemies have less damage, normal, like, hex editing things you would... I'm pressing my jump button. Oh, what the heck's that? Because I'm pressing my jump button to do this, so I don't know why it's not working there. Probably because I'm old and bad at video games. That's alright. That's all well. Editor just... Oh wait, I don't have an editor. Someday, maybe I'll have an editor. Probably. There we go. That's all I was trying to do. Shit. So that wasn't hard at all. You kind of see the bottom of the screen up at the top. That's always fun. So it's like jump and then direction? Uh, a Williams can spawn here, but I think because we left that last one alive... Oh, never mind. I've started getting him, and I don't know why. Last couple jumps are easy. There's even a safety platform on this one. It's like the game taking pity on you. And this is where the bastards who stole my girlfriend are keeping it. You don't always just fall down once. There we go. Also, we get title screen music! Three lives I should be able to do this, unless I get really unlucky. tricks, no more dynamite, no more knives. Actually, there is a knife. <laughs> it's so dumb. Those guys are just there to beat up your life. Uh, try and sap you down before you get to the gauntlet! The rush down. Two of Obos! They're really designed to take your life down. And then, two chins! And one of them has a knife, because get wrecked! What the hell? Is that knife still there? Okay. Cool, good knife. Very big trouble in Little China. Um, yeah, these count as walls. Even though it looks like you can throw them off, you can't. We die from this point on, we start at the beginning with the Abobos. We don't have to fight the Williams. Shit. Walk into my feet, damn you! Good deal. Uh, now we got some Lindas that don't even have a whip. And then we'll fight some Ropers that don't even have a box. Like I said, once you take care of the Chins, it's kind of a underwhelming. Feels like we should have worked up to the Abobos, maybe? I don't know why, but the first time you hit someone, they just fall down. Okay, so this should be... Machine Gun Willy. And... He, you just don't want to be on the same plane as... because he'll shoot you. this about three times, it pretty much gets him, and I don't think he can hit you on the bottom plane. Like, there's a hit glitch with his machine gun, but I was having trouble pulling it off. Uh, and he can melee you with his machine gun. And we're good. Lazy. It's alright, we'll fight the Abobos. Um, another trick you can do with the Abobos is kind of let them come to you, and, uh, Sometimes you can spam kick fast enough that they can't hit you, but it's 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 temperamental. Kind of feels like uh, kind of depends on how they feel personally. As long as they're both on the same side of you and not like pincering you, you're in pretty good shape. Uh, elbow only works when someone's closer behind you than in front of you, so you can see how that gets weird.
Pretty sure the knife will disappear once they're dead, but it'd be neat to carry it on to a later person. Yeah, tragic. The music's so good. They have a lot more life now. Let's try the, the machine gun willy trick. I think... No, nope, we fell off. <laughs> That's the problem with the machine gun willy trick. This is exactly where I don't want this to be. There we go. If you get about a body length away from a bobo, it's generally safe to stand there. Oh. Chins will throw you off if you try to do the mounted punches. You can get them weak enough that it works, but typically two rounds of hair pull throws will do it. You can go fast enough. And they eat roundhouses if they don't duck. See if this works. Okay, this works. So I don't think he can shoot us now. Yeah. Just have to be very careful to not push down. It's weird, I got this to work the very first time I did it, and then like I tried three times in a row and couldn't get it to work. This is the most life I've had at this point. So we got our final, final, final boss. My god, it's Jenny! So Jimmy's a little tricky. He'll duck the roundhouse too, just like everyone else. But uh, if you can kick him twice, turn away, and feed him an elbow, because he just has an ungodly amount of hit points. And if you go about a body length away, you can kind of get the same rhythm on him. It doesn't work. It's better if you can do it at his head. Eight of these. No, no, he's dead. Okay, just maybe six. And then we save Marion! Look at me! So, I do use some stage just to avoid having to replay the first two levels again since they're pretty formulaic. Stage three is really the only one where you should start dying on, unless you have really bad luck with stage two and the dynamite. And we save our girlfriend who was kidnapped by the killers. And we beat the shit out of our brother who kidnapped our girlfriend. We're totally brothers and friends, and we teach people Sosetsuken. The plot for Dragon, uh, Double Dragon's a mess. Also, uh, we never really played this as kids, but you can be... You can you can play in a versus mode with, with the bad guy sprites. And they're not even the same sprites. It's like an actual NES... It's a big fighting game. Look how big and chunky these sprites are. And you can run, too. Which is hard to control, even for the PC. I am the Red Linda. these hands, you strumpet. You hussy. Linda Punch is really fast. PC can't really do anything about it. The chin fight is hard because he's uh, very good in this mode. I'm just gonna keep doing this. You walk into it, it's your own fault. How much no life do you have, bitch?
crap. There we go. Won! You don't really get anything for it. I got I get the game over music even though I won. It's fun though. It, it's a cute thing. You got you got a Bobos. You can play as a Bobo. It'd be neat if you could play him as as him in the main game, but I bet he can't jump for shit. Yeah, he, he can't jump with a Bobo. Also, look at how much extra life he has. That's a bunch of shit. He also has the flesh-colored boots like Billy and Jimmy. This one isn't going to go as well. I have a lot more damage to do. The kicks do good damage, though. Just kind of hold the turbo button down and inch towards them. I always thought Obobo looked like one of the uh, muscle guys from, like, a... Oh, it's anime. Maximum Muscle or something like that? I forget what we called them here in the States. We had them in, like, little capsule wrestlers. You'd get them out of the, the gotcha machines at the grocery store and stuff like that. Mighty Men? Maybe Mighty Men. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat CPU Abobo and his bullshit. Watch, he knocks me down on my last bar and I die. Hey, we did it. Look at the game over music. <laughs> uh, do one more. I'll do Chen. Chin plays an important role in our new game. New Double Dragon Gaiden. And after playing Double Dragon 3, I see the family resemblance to his, his Iron Claw attack. I noticed it when I was fighting those ones earlier. And his kicks suck. I think... Yeah, his jump attack is bad. He feels like he should have a sliding kick. I don't know, it just feels like he doesn't have the options for the player that the other guys did. Like, he doesn't... I can't move with him when I attack. Yeah, he attacks too fast. It's actually a detriment. Because also Chen can just face tank his own attacks. I had pretty good luck with footsies one time. But I kind of wish I'd known more about this. Like, I don't know, we were more... We were more involved in, like, trying to beat the game than to find out modes like this. The only real versus mode I did for stuff like this, we did a lot of Ninja Turtle versus mode for the SNES on Turtles in Time, and I did a lot of Metal Warriors versus mode with my, uh, with my school friend. Because that versus mode was amazing. You have the mechs and stuff like that. Anyway, Double Dragon 1. I beat it. <sighs> I'll try to... I'm still trying to get a one-sequence win, where I don't have to resort to saving a lot of time by starting over at stage four. But it's a blast. You can knock it out in about 20 minutes. I think most of the speedruns for it are like 15, 18 minutes, something like that. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it was fun learning how to play it. Like manipulating the the AI and getting the leveling up certain at places, and uh, there are some really neat tricks for it too. Like there's a there's a way to get an invincible Williams on stage two that doesn't count, so you can like leave him whenever you want, but you can just level up to the max level on him. It's a uh, it's needlessly complicated. It's it's a lot harder than just punching dudes and then stepping away from them so they don't fall over. And uh, you can beat video games. Did a, a couple of really great. Double Dragon stuff. Uh, probably link that video because I, I really enjoy it. And uh, also, Matt McMuscles is a huge Double Dragon fan, and he did his giant 10-hour every Double Dragon he could get his hands on compilation. That's a lot of fun if you need something in the background. So yeah, I'll be back with another something. Until then.